let me tell you all something. All verse rising, soul family. All verse rising. Now, a lot of melanated people, whether they're melanated Africans, melanated Caribbeans, or melanated Middle Easterns, or melanated, melanated Asians, every melanated person can agree with me that the Eastern and the Western states of USA are way better for melanated people, especially dark-skinned melanated people, than the racist-ass, colorism-ass Southern states of USA. Yeah, I said it, man. Look, let me tell you something. A Southern state like Louisiana is very racist as fuck. Highly racist towards a lot of dark-skinned melanated males. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about how dark-skinned melanated males get treated like shit out in the Southern states like Louisiana, for example. Because, look, if a, if a dark-skinned melanated male was living out in Monroe or Sterlington or Richwood or any city in Louisiana, guess what? He can't even walk to the damn store without getting heckled and harassed by some racist-ass European police officers. And they accuse him of doing some foul, malicious things, bro, just because he got dark, melanated skin. But you take dark-skinned, melanated males that are living out in New York or New Jersey or Venice Beach, California or Bay Area, California. They can go walk anywhere without no, without no worries of some racist-ass European police officers trying to heckle their ass, bro. Like, this shit, man, bro, melanated people, melanated males that are dark-skinned, they have it better out in the eastern states like New York, New Jersey, Rhode Island. They don't gotta pull up with no racist ass European folks because I know from experience, man. Like, bro, when I was like, when I was like uh, in Rhode Island, man, like, bro, and I was getting, getting like a bus ticket and everything, bro, like, European white folks in Rhode Island, bro, they wasn't racist towards me. They wasn't racist towards me, man. You know, like, a lot of European white folks in the Eastern states, they're less racist than the ones down south of USA, man. But out in Louisiana, man, and all southern states, including Washington, D.C., racist, white supremacist ass, bro, dark-skinned melanated males get treated like trash and get heckled all the damn time. It's like dark-skinned melanated males can't do anything in the southern states, especially racist ass Louisiana. Because dark-skinned melanated males gotta stay in the damn house just because of their damn dark skin complexion. Like, bro, this shit is sad, bro. This shit is fucking irritating. It's mad lean. Like, bro, a dark-skinned melanated male can't even go jogging in, in the neighborhood that they live in in Louisiana around 6 p.m. and 7 p.m., 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Because then a lot of these damn whitewashed melanated people who are against true melanated people and all these damn goddamn racist ass European white folks in a neighborhood they always gonna assume that a dark skinned melanated male that's in a neighborhood around 6pm to 9pm as malicious and dangerous bro that's only in the south that's only in the south man only in the southern states this don't be happening out in places like New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania Rhode Island Venice Beach, California, Bay Area, California, bro. Like, bro, come on. Like, why do you think a lot of melanated males who was on them who was on those rap DVDs back in the 2000s, like too raw for the streets? A lot of melanated males that were dark skinned out in out in the locations of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, or Germantown, or Morristown, or whatever, bro, they was like rapping on they was rapping on those hip hop DVDs from afternoon to nighttime to midnight. And guess what? They wasn't heckled and harassed by some racist ass European police officers, man. The damn police officers let the damn melanated people and the dark skinned melanated people like, you know, ride out and, and, and kept freestyling at, all the way at night. But in the South, that's not going to fly. Man, the damn European police officers gonna be sitting there arresting melanated males, especially the dark skinned ones out in some racist ass Louisiana and be like, oh, you're not supposed to be out here at 6 p.m. Not supposed to be out here at 9 p.m. Why don't you go somewhere else? Man, that's the fucking slave treatment, man. That's the, that's the reason why the Southern states are known as the fucking slave states. The eastern states and the western states are not slave states. 
those are more like those are more like freedom states like for real like come on look at how Venice Beach is you never saw a melanated person get heckled by some damn racist ass European police officers in Venice Beach California or Malibu California or or like Berkeley or fucking goddamn San Francisco or Emmerville or Oakland or Hayward California bro look the only time that you ever see police officers actually intervene with people out in the western states or the eastern states of USA is only if it was some type of violence going on. But if but if it's just like a melanated people just like minding their own business, like they're they're sitting by a tree out in California, out in New Jersey or New York or somewhere, or sitting by the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific Ocean, man, the day of police officers ain't gonna bother nobody. But out in the southern states, oh the southern states, man, the, the police officers that are Europeans, they're more aggressive as fuck towards melanated people, man. They don't, bro, that shit is sad, bro. Like, melanated people, you see why melanated people hate the southern states. The only melanated people who like the southern states, especially racist-ass Louisiana, are these fucking melanated fraternity people and the damn Masons and melanated police officers who are fucking whitewashed. Those are only melanated people who like the southern states that be racist as fuck towards melanated people that I have listed. Like, bro, this shit is sad, man. Like, no melanated person, especially the dark-skinned melanated people, deserve to be forced. Man, bro, let me say, let me say this. A lot of dark-skinned melanated people, especially dark-skinned mel melanated males, they don't deserve to just be forced to live in the southern states and be homebodies and they can't go out and enjoy themselves in the southern states just because of their dark skin complexion. That the fucking European racist white folks in the southern states like Louisiana and all these other southern states be hating on so damn much, bro. This shit is sad, man. This shit is ultra sad. It's mad lean. Look, man, look. Let me tell you this. If I was out in Rhode Island, New York, or New Jersey right now, or Venice Beach, California, or Bay Area, California, I don't gotta worry about some, you know, racist ass European police officers to heckle me. Like they'll actually let me rock and do my thing. And they know I'm minding my own business. But out in the southern states, oh, them damn European police officers are fucking stereotypical motherfuckers. And I hate the damn European white folks in the damn south, bro. It's hard for dark skinned melanated males to do anything in the southern states. Y'all know this. You all know this. You guys know this. That's why a lot of melanated people, that's why they rather, if, they, if a melanated people can't, if they cannot afford to be in an African or a Caribbean or a Middle East country or any melanated countries where melanated people came from, the other best alternatives are the Eastern states in USA or the Western states in USA for melanated people, especially the dark skinned males, bro. Like, bro, like melanated people, People, bro, let me tell you this. If I was out in the eastern states like New York, New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Pennsylvania, or the western states like Nevada or Arizona or California or Oregon, for example, guess what? I could be out to 3 a.m. at midnight and actually have fun with vibrant people and actually make fun memories. And I don't got to worry about no racist-ass European cops to try to heckle me just because of my fucking dark skin complexion that they don't have. Like, this is some fucking bullshit, bro. Like, the melanated people in the southern states have it, they have it the worst out of anybody on the planet. The melanated people that's dark-skinned, they don't have no freedom in southern states. They can't go out and just have fun like the way they want to because of some racist-ass white folks and these damn stereotypical white pig, piggly wiggly looking ass police officers in the southern states like Louisiana, for example, bro. Like, come on, bro. Melanated people know that the eastern states and the western states of USA is way better than, than the fucking southern states because it's better economy in the eastern and the western states, better vibrant people. You can actually you can actually pursue your opportunities and, and actually fulfill your talents. But you can't do that in the southern states, can you? You can't do it. Melanated people have more success in western states and eastern states in USA and be more happier. Than, than the melanated people out in the southern states that's always against them and rig against them, man. All facts.